is good everybody welcome to an epic my damn toys video today we have wwe action figure surgery episode number 36 coming at you guys big time episode coming up i wouldn't be shocked if it's over 30 minutes long with all the work we're going to put in here today guys plenty of surgery to go around we have elite 72 featured in here today we have elites from wrestlemania 36 wave right here and we have some epic things going down we got the velveteen dream batista roddy strong i think we have three of the four wrestlemania 36 figures in here and it's going to go down guys you you can see well by all the supplies and all the parts we have lying around that today is going to be an epic episode of wwe action figure surgery so you guys know how these videos go down we always cover what we're going to do on action figure surgery before we dive into the surgery so with that being said guys let's go ahead and dive into what we're going to be doing here today and uh, just take a look at it all right guys so let's go ahead and dive into what we're going to be doing here today on action figure surgery let's go ahead and slide some things out of the way here so that we can get going as you guys can see velveteen dream is laid out on the stretch right here and if you guys want to know what we're going to be doing with this just I mean my god everybody knows how we all feel about this new Elite 72 dream so what we're going to do with this guy guys is we are going to crack his torso we're actually going to crack his torso I don't have my screwdriver right here it's somewhere though we're going to crack his torso I don't care if it gets shredded I really don't because I have my extra Shelton Benjamin Elite 63 torso that our girl Raven sent us and we are going to put this on here and it's going to be sort of a shirtless you know glasses sweat sweatpants type dream looking figure that I guess I'm going to roll with and just kind of see how it pans out. You know, it may end up looking crappy, but we're going to see what it's all about and hopefully it turns out okay. I don't like this torso. I will literally never use this figure if it has this torso on it, so I'm definitely going to switch it out. We're going to see how it goes and hopefully everything pans out correctly, but that is definitely what we're going to be doing on this episode. We're going to be cracking this torso and putting that Elite Shelton Benjamin torso on it to see what it looks like. Not only that, guys, we do have quite a few more things going on, so let's go ahead and get this torso out of the way. Freaking dropped it. I don't know where the other half of the freaking torso went, man. Are you kidding me? Jesus Christ. Anyways, let's move on. I'm sure I'll find it. So moving on, guys, the next thing you will see is this Matt Hardy head sculpt from this battle pack or this, I think it's a battle pack head sculpt. I believe it. If it's not, I think it is, though. It came with Jeff Hardy and Matt Hardy. Uh, we're going to be switching these head sculpts because I'm not the biggest fan of this one. I just don't like the eyes on it or something. It just does. It. It's like missing something. It kind of looks a bit jacksy or something. I'm going to be switching this head sculpt with this head sculpt, and I think this one will look a lot better on here. It'll have that Mania 34 look when he won the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal Trophy. With Bray Wyatt's help, I think that'll look pretty good. So it's just a minor head swap, but we are going to do that here today. There's the extra piece of torso underneath the stretcher. Next up, guys, we do have Mick Foley right here, and this is another minor fix-up, but it will be very, very nice. What we're going to do is we are going to be head-swapping this guy with this Elite 48 Cactus Jack, and I think this will look so much better, guys. I like this head sculpt way more than this one, and uh, I, I want the Mick Foley to have this treatment, so we're definitely going to be putting this head sculpt over here, and I think that will make this look a lot better. I just do not see Mick Foley in this head, and it's not going to bother me that much to have this head sculpt over here on the Cactus Jack. I actually think it would look a lot better if they switched. So that is definitely something we're going to be doing. Not only this guys, we are going to be doing another torso crack and it is going to be on the Elite 72 Roderick Strong here. And if you guys know, Roderick Strong's pretty pretty ripped up, man. I mean, he, he works hard and I think we should compensate him and not have him with this Daniel Bryan torso. So we're going to put on a pre-cracked Finn Balor torso that I had pre-cracked yesterday and we are going to put this over on Roddy and I think he'll look a lot better. You know, again, he, he looks good in the gym. He, he works hard, and I think he deserves to have his figure replicate that here. So that is definitely something we're going to do here. Roger Strong will have the ripped up Finn Balor torso, and he'll look way better. Love Roger Strong. Got to fix him up. And we're not even done, guys. We still have a few more things. Uh, if you guys see this Batista right here, ladies and gentlemen, um, I'll pull up a picture if I can. You guys will see that uh, at the top of his back right here, there's supposed to be like some shading and stuff on the back of his, uh, at the top of his tattoos here on his back, like near his shoulders there. And I want to fill that in with some shading. And not only that, they did not continue his flag tattoo right here. So I'm going to do my best to try and continue the flag tattoo here and here and add the shading behind it, as well as the shading behind these letters over here on the left chesticle or right chesticle if you're Batista himself. So we are going to do that as well. Hopefully that will turn out. You know, I'm going to thin out that paint, make it kind of wet and uh, dry brush that on there or get that, you know, thin layer of paint over there and hopefully that'll look okay. And then we're going to finish up that flag right there and then we're going to seal that up and hopefully that will all pan out. And then eventually we'll probably switch smaller knee pads on there just to, you know, have him be able to bend his knees a little better. So not only are we painting that, guys, but we are also going to add a fade to this Kofi Kingston from WrestleMania 
35. You guys can see the hairline right here. I mean, look at that right there. It would uh, look a lot more accurate. It would look a lot better if he had the faded haircut in there. So we're also going to fade his haircut right here, have it thin, and then go thicker as it goes back, and hopefully that will pan out okay. And then our WrestleMania 35 Kofi will look a lot more accurate and better. So that is pretty much it. Well, all we're going to do, guys. I mean, it's, it's a long day of surgery. We got a lot of things to get through. I guess we can probably do the painting last. I think that would probably be the best thing to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the head swaps, then we're going to do the torso swaps, then we're going to finish it up with our paint jobs. So the first order of business, guys, is going to be to heat up these four head sculpts. I did take the flannel off of Foley because I do not want it to, you know, warp it or anything like that. I need to get some cloth flannel and a cloth t-shirt made. I think it'll look a lot better if we did that. But anyways, guys, we're going to heat this hoe up and we're going to see if we can get these head sculpts switched. And I'm sure they will look a hundred times better. And hopefully we can actually heat all these up. I hope that, you know, we don't have any problems with like, you know, uh, you know, not the heads getting heated up or whatever, but let's go ahead and hit it and we'll find out. All right, guys, let's see how this does. I don't know how long that heated up, and I'm not sure, but we did get the first head sculpt off, so that is nicey-dicey right there. Going to go over to the other Matt Hardy, and oh, God in heaven. I really don't care, I guess, if it snaps his neck because it's a basic, you know, and I, I really don't care, but yeah, it, it didn't, so that's that's good. Uh, we're going to pop this over here. Hopefully, it will fit on there and not have any, you know, giraffe necks or anything like that, and it's on there, and it feels like it's, it worked pretty good. We're going to see how that goes, but now we're going to pop Mick Foley's head off, and Christ, it's one of those thick heads, Brad. Good God in heaven. God, that's a deep head sculpt. Okay, so his head's pretty freaking deep, and hopefully this other, oh, his head literally just fell off. Are you okay, CAC? CAC. <laughs> I guess it is CAC. Cactus. C-A-C. CAC. 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 Cactus. CAC. Cactus. Good stuff. Anyways, move over here, pop this head sculpt over here, and it's on, and we'll see how I feel about that at the end, and I guess I need to go ahead and pop this head sculpt over here, because, I mean, we might as well just go ahead and put it on there, and uh, we will take a look at that at the end, but uh, I think we got all our head switched, except for the Matt Hardy. We're going to leave that off. I don't really care about the basics, so uh, we'll take a closer look at Mick and Cactus at the end, and as well as Matt Hardy, so we got all three. Oh, God, Matt just flying around. We'll take a closer look at all three of these at the end. All right, guys, moving on to step number two. We are going to be cracking these torsos right here. What did I just knock in the floor? So what we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen, is we are going to be cracking these torsos. I have went ahead and removed the arms of Roddy. I didn't remove these arms because I don't know if I want to keep these on here, and I don't know if I have any smaller ones. We'll just, we'll just play that by ear, but I did remove the head sculpts because you can't crack the torso unless the head sculpts are removed. And uh, my boy Cody can do this without any hot water or any heat or anything necessary, and I don't know how the hell he does it. He must be some sorcerer of some sort, but what we're going to try to do here today is we're just going to try and uh, get these separate. I really don't care about getting it completely cracked, like, as far as clean. Like, I don't really care if it's clean because I don't care if I salvage this torso or not. I really don't. I just don't want to stab myself. So, uh, that's my big thing. And kind of it kind of separated right there already. And, uh, I mean, this is... This is pretty solid. I mean, it's pretty much cracked. You can kind of see the line right there separating. But again, I really don't care if it, you know, if it pops, it pops, whatever. Because I, I I can't think of a scenario where I'll be like, damn, I wish I had one of those freaking Roddy Strong torsos. That Daniel Bryan torso shit would look good on this. Like, that doesn't really happen that often, so I don't really see me uh, complaining about that. And if I do end up needing one, I'll just or I'll bite the bullet and order one, I guess. Because I, I don't know, uh, a, again, I don't know a scenario where that would happen, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's pretty much cracked. I mean, I don't know what to say. It's close enough for now. And then we're going to move over to this one, and we're going to do the same thing just right here. Last time I had a Velveteen Dream, his torso cracked in a millisecond. Like, it was crazy how fast it cracked. There's some warping right there. Again, I, I hate this torso, so I really, I don't really know uh, how to feel about it. Look at it warping already. Christ on a bike. F it, we're going to the kitchen.
Okay. Long enough. Let's not burn myself. Go ahead, pat off. Get the glass out of here so I don't spill it and burn my whole skin off. Go ahead and get this going. Don't even know why I had to heat this up, but you know what, Brad? You did it anyway. Look at that, it literally fell off. It fell off, Brad, it fell off. One half, like so. Pop that off there. May or may not need the shoulders. For the bottom half, guys, all you wanna do, trusty knife, wear gloves. By God, wear gloves. Or you'll get a scar like this on your hand. Can't even see it that much, right there. You're gonna slide it right down into the seam right here, and then just kinda wiggle back and forth. And then booyah, just like that. How easy was that, Brad? So Roderick's done. I like that gray color we got going on. Roderick's done. Now on to the dream. Good God. Well, there you go. Way easier with water. Why don't we do that every time? Oh my God, his co Look at that, the collar fell off. Look at that. How's that even possible? The collar was made out of rubber. It's separated. It's separated from the lower, the, the back part of the torso. I'll hold on to this so you guys can see it. Booyah. All right, guys, we're back from the kitchen now. We have our super glue. We have our velveteen legs, as you can see here. We have our Roderick Strong legs, as you can see here. And this is what I was talking about, guys. Look at this right here. The collar for the upper, for the front part of the torso, like, warped. And, like, instead of going to the back of the torso, it, like, folded over and came over the top. You can see it disconnected right there. How crazy is that? And look at that. Like, look at the little piece right there. I don't know. That's just super odd, man. That is really, really weird. I'm glad I didn't want that. That's like a separate rubber piece, I see. Okay, so that's what they did. They made like a rubber piece for the top of the torso, and this goes under it like that. Interesting. Well, don't need it. Or the bottom half. We do have his arms, which I really don't like the size of. I'd like to make these smaller. I don't know if I have any extras, though. Maybe I can switch those out later. But anyways, we do have the Roger Strong torso, and I don't think I need it for now. I am going to take his shoulders, though, I think. I also have these Finn Balor shoulders, so I guess maybe these will work better since they came with the torso. I don't want to F anything up. I also only have one of these little spacer deals, and I'm going to put it on Roger because I think I'd use him more, right? So I think I'd use him more, so I'm going to put that right there. And then we're going to take our bottom half of the torso, Put it on like so. Go ahead and open up our glue. Get the other side of our lower torso. Put it right here. Why is that so gappy? I don't like that. Come on, close, Brad. Close. Ugh. Ugh. Hell yeah, I think it worked. So now, ladies and gentlemen, you have to get your front part of the torso. Oh, it's got a little scuffage on there. Oh, okay, I got it. So you're going to take this, and you're going to slide it like so over the top here, and then it should flow like that. I don't want any... Oh, God, dude, if I get a loose torso, I'm going to slap somebody's face. So you want to lean it forward like so. Then you will take your right shoulder, plug it in here. That's actually the left shoulder, Brad. Come on. Left shoulder there. You Again, you want to lean it forward there so that you can uh, place your shoulders in there. Then here's your right shoulder. Go ahead and plug that in as well. Make sure it's leaning forward like so, like we talked about. Make sure your thing's all the way in there. That's exactly what we want. Now you take your back portion of the torso. Make sure there's no flails on there. I cannot define what flails are. And then we're going to take our glue again, and we're going to line, just like we did the lower torso, we're going to line the little... Uh, little holes up here go ahead and get some glue on there so the pegs stick in and glue back together putting it all over the good spots don't make it too runny now then we're going to take the back part plug it in And bam, there you go. Roderick Strong with the ripped up torso. Looks pretty good on all sides, no gappage. Now all we have to do is pop the Roderick Strong head sculpt on there and the arms. Now that we're done with Roddy, we're gonna move on to Velveteen Dream. And one thing I will say, guys, is we're probably not gonna show the head sculpts on there. I'll show you what the head sculpts and arms are like that look like at the end, because we gotta get to our painting of Batista and Kofi. But I will show it at the end. But I did wanna show you guys that process of putting those on there. So for Velveteen Dream, guys, it's gonna be the same exact process. We're going to take our lower torso, and I don't expect this one to turn out as well, because uh, I know that I kinda, I didn't, do a, as good a job on the torso crack. I didn't mean to. It's just the Shelton Benjamin cracks um, a little bit crappier than the uh, than the Finn Balor torso. I found that the Finn Balor torso actually cracks pretty easy, and uh, I've gotten better at that. But the Velveteen one, or the Shelton Benjamin, I should say, wasn't as lucky. 
and so uh, we'll just see how that all pans out but going ahead and putting this lower part on here and hopefully you know we don't get any like loosey goosey stuff going on like look at that gap right there dude like Jesus Christ this one's already scrapped I don't think I'm gonna be able to use it ah uh, look at that you gotta have one of those little pieces I don't have one of those little pieces Christ on a bike that's the only little you know the little piece I had that I put on the Roger Strong I don't have another one of those and I think that's the only way that you can actually get it to be tight Oh man, okay, well just we'll, we'll come back to Velveteen Dream. Dream will be a work in progress. We'll get him figured out at a later date, I guess, guys. I apologize for that. That's so stupid, man. God, I need another one of those hip pieces. If anybody has any of those spare hip pieces or those little uh, lower torso pieces that goes on the inside that sits right there, you can kind of see what it'll look like, though. Like, can you see it? Like, this looks way better already. Like, this torso, like, you'll have like a sweatpants style uh, promo attire, as my boy Cody said, like a promo attire Velveteen Dream, that would work. But for now, we don't have anything. So, god dang, dude. Alright, moving on to the paint jobs. Alright guys, moving on to the last segment, we are going to try and paint up this Batista and this Kofi Kingston. What we've got here, you probably wonder why the hell you got watermelon propel water? This is actually regular water. Um, I dumped this out and then I filled it up with regular water so that I didn't have to run all the way to the bathroom to pour water into the, you know, the paint cups and stuff. I do have my little paint uh, things here. I'm going to pour some water in there and then I'm going to also pour uh, this is what I use for tattoos guys, for light shading or any type of tattoo stuff. I do pavement because it's not completely Completely black, you know. Tattoos aren't completely black. I have many tattoos, and uh, they, when they heal, they aren't completely black. They do lose it a little bit. So you want to have pavement. I think pavement from Apple Barrel Works is a great color for that. For the fade on Kofi Kingston, we are going to use jet black though, because his hair is black. And then you lighten that up, it will be a great fade color there. I used it on Cedric Alexander before, and it looked pretty good. So I think that's going to work there. And then for our American flag slash deal that we're going to do, we are going to use opaque red from Ceram Coat. And I'm not going to water this down at all. I don't need to. I'm just going to apply it right to the figure and hopefully everything pans out the way we want it to and everything works out guys but I'm just going to key the little time lapse you're going to see me paint Kofi Kingston's hair and Batista's tattoos and hopefully everything works out how we want and we'll see what it looks like at the finale and hopefully I can get everything on film for you guys so let's go ahead and hit it Alright guys, I got all the painting that I needed to get, I think. I hope I did good enough for you guys. I, I, you know, again, I tried my best. The stripes on Batista were pretty much insanely difficult. Like, I like I need to figure that out. And one day we will get it to where I can capture every single thing I paint on video. It's just really difficult, man. I need, like, a camera to attach to my forehead. And then I can get in there and get all the details. So I don't know what I can do to do that. But anyways, guys, let's get into what we've done here on Action Figure Surgery. I think it's a pretty 
epic successful day except for Velveteen Dream. Uh, yeah, God bless his soul. But anyways, guys, let's get into the first figure. We have the Cactus Jack fix up. This is the Elite 48 Cactus Jack with the Mick Foley slash Cactus Jack head sculpt on it. And I mean, it doesn't look that bad. I will say I like this head sculpt better for this attire of Cactus Jack and, you know, this look of Cactus Jack. So I will say that uh, I, I like this better. It's not, you know, again, it, the head sculpt isn't very good, but I do like it better than the original Mick Foley WrestleMania Elite. So there's this Cactus Jack. We also have this Matt Hardy football figure right here. And this is with the Battle Pack head sculpt on it. And I like this a lot. That WrestleMania 34 attire with the white and gold with this head sculpt looks a lot better in my opinion. I'm just not big on that head for some reason. And I think this looks a lot better. And you know, this just fits Matt Hardy better. I think the eyes are better on this one. It doesn't have all the true effects. I don't think, I don't think it's a true effects head sculpt, but it still looks pretty good. And you know, I could easily get one of those basics and switch it on from Amazon or something if I needed to. But this definitely works for a placeholder for, for the moment. I think this works for me for the moment being. And I got that figure for like eight bucks or something at retail. So I don't think you could complain about an $8 battle pack using the head sculpts. Um, this one looks pretty good, guys. This is the WrestleMania 36 Elite Mick Foley. And this is the Elite 48 Cactus Jack head sculpt on there. And this looks so much better. Um, I was talking to my boy Cody about it. And he said that I need to get the Jacks figure, which I can probably agree with there. But uh, for the moment being, and you know, for the time, for how this figure looks, I do like the way that this figure looks with this head sculpt. It just looks so much more like Mick Foley than whatever the hell that is. So I do like this a lot. I, I like the flannel on there. I would wish that this was uh, cloth or this was cloth, but with these shooter hands and everything like that, man, this is pretty fire. I like this a lot. Uh, this is definitely one of my favorite figures of the day, um, but it is coming in at fourth, I think, because uh, we have a lot of epicness on this episode, guys. Starting off first with the torso swap on the Roderick Strong. Guys, look at how beautiful this looks right here. We fixed up Roderick Strong, and now he will look like how he looks in RL with his ripped up self. He looks good. He looks great. The head sculpt looks good on there. He doesn't look, you know, disproportionate or anything like that. He looks good, man. Roger Strong killing it. You know, the, the ab crunch is tight. The uh, the waist is tight. We don't have any gaps. I mean, this this is damn near perfect and uh, I like it a lot. Undisputed Air is ready to run rampant and Roger Strong looks good, man. I like it. I love Roger Strong. You guys know that. So, this, this makes me very happy to see. Moving on, guys, we do have Kofi Kingston right here and I think the fade turned out excellent. I love the fade right here. I don't know if you guys can see. We'll zoom in here so you guys can get a good look at that and look at that fade job going on on the hair i like the way it came out it looks a whole lot better than it did before you know it was just bald right here but you guys can see the fades coming in looking way better than it actually did i think i need to add some to the beard or something but the hair looks way better i think the fade looks better i didn't seal it up yet but i think that the fade job looks way better than just you know the bald you know missing hairline so that looks a lot better there for kofi and then finally guys we have our last figure on this episode of action figure surgery which is batista and I think this looks much better as well. I don't know if you guys saw the images of the tattoos yet, but I'll pull up a picture if you haven't. And Mattel, for some reason, decided to leave off the rest of his flags right here. So I went ahead and added them onto this trap right here. The flag does continue. I also added the shading behind this little chesticle tattoo over here and uh, added some other things as well as adding some shading to the top of the back right there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I did add some shading to the top of the back. And just overall, this looks way better than it did before. And and I like the, the stripes look good as well, and I like this much better. I still have to seal it up, but I think that the shading and the flag and everything turned out well. And it was a successful day of surgery, except for Velveteen Dream did not pan out the way we thought it would. But there is your Batista. So we have Batista. We have our WrestleMania 35, WrestleMania 36 Elite Kofi Kingston. We have our Roderick Strong fix-up with the Finn Balor torso looking much better. We have the Mick Foley head scan switch, which looks 100 times better for real. And then we have the Matt Hardy as well. And then the other Mick Foley slash Cactus Jack that uh, doesn't really matter to us because it's a terrible head scan. Anyways, but that does it for today's episode of Action Figure Surgery, guys. Episode number 36. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Please let me know down below what you think of all the different things here today that we did. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.